Hey guys, it's Sam. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be a makeup tutorial using the Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm so excited to do this for you guys because I have not been able to stop using this for the past couple days. Um, I've been playing around with some of the pops of colors, so I'm excited to show you guys what I can do with it. So, so I think today I'm going to try to achieve like a sunset look. So again, I do not have the names of the colors from this palette because I didn't get the sheet that came was supposed to come with the palette so I'll try to insert the names in the video so, so first I know this one's called creamsicle I'm gonna take that it's just like a very yellowy shade and I'm gonna put this in my transition so I'm gonna keep this yellow color kind of blown out pretty far. I want this look to start off kind of yellow and work its way kind of like deeper into the crease. So that's why I'm doing that. So next with the same brush I'm going to take the color Pukey. And some of the colors I already know the names of but some of them I might not. I'm just going to use this more concentrated in the crease, not blow it out so far. Next, I'm going to go in with this orangey shade called Hunts. I'm going to keep this on the outer half. Next, I'm going to take the color, I think it's Jax, and I'm going to keep this more concentrated right in the corner. I'm going to keep this pretty low because I don't want to blend it out too far out. This is just a really pretty, like, cranberry color. I think this is Jax. I hope I got this right. I think so. But again, I'll have the names in the video. So I feel like I kind of lost that yellow color, so I'm going to go back in with Creamsicle and help blend this out. So I'm going to try to deepen that up again, and I do not know the color of this name, but it's just a really deep, purpley brown, kind of. <laughs> I'm going to keep this strictly, like, right here. I'm not going to move it very much. I'm very gently just going to kind of flick it out. And kind of blend it so there's no harsh lines. I don't want it to be too intense on the outside, but I still kind of want to flick this darker color out there. So now I'm going to go back in with Jax just to get more of that cranberry cranberry color in there because I feel like I kind of lost it so for the under eye I'm going to take Jax and put that pretty close I honestly don't have like any fallout with these shadows so that's really nice then I'm going to take creamsicle and just blend that out Then I'm going to take this really, the darkest color that I used that I put in the outer corner and I'm just going to kind of connect it. Of 
For the lid, I'm going to take, I think it's called Cran Apple. Not positive, but it's a really pretty cranberry color, but it's like a metallic, I think. And I just sprayed it, and I'm going to put this on the lid. I'm going to take a little bit of Hunt's and Creamsicle, just a little bit. Just to blend this metallic color out a little bit. So I'm going to highlight my inner corner, I think it's with Beamed. This color is so perfect for inner corner and brow bone. I've been kind of obsessed with it and I even use it to highlight my cheekbones. It's so intense. really pretty. Next I am taking my Scone Cosmetics Insanely Intense Tattoo Waterproof Eyeliner and I'm just gonna do a wing off camera. So once I got my eyeliner on I'm gonna take the Superhero It Cosmetics Mascara in Super Black. I'm gonna coat my lashes and for lashes I'm gonna take my Salon Perfect Demi Wispies and I'm using my dual eyelash adhesive and I just put a thin line on the band of the lashes and I'm gonna let that dry so a tip for getting your eyelashes on like in the right spot is you kinda go downwards because sometimes I tried like going straight in like this but if you go come from up higher you get them on right where you want them this is my first time trying out these lashes and I think I like them they're kind of more like intense on the outside I'm just gonna blend that in using my Roller Lash by Benefit. And also put that on my lower lash line. Or oh, my lower lashes. For lips, I'm just going to take my Marc Jacobs Lip Lacquer in Pink Flamingo. So this is the final look. I hope you guys like it. I really like it. I like how it turned out. Um, the Jaclyn Hill palette is so amazing. Guys, I highly recommend it. It performs so pretty on the eyes. I don't think I could have achieved this with any other palette, honestly. I mean, I've tried to do kind of like a sunset look and I've never achieved it. So, so it's really nice to be able to do these looks with one palette. I think it's so amazing. But again, yeah, this is the final look, and I hope you guys like it. So please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and please subscribe so you see more of my upcoming videos. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Bye.